Hi my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm changing things up today. Uh, as you can see, we're by the water. It's absolutely beautiful out. I don't know where you're at or what the weather's been like for you, but lately here, it's been a bit cold. And we had a break in the coldness and the rain today. And I wanted to come out and just sit with nature because without her for too long, I just, yeah, it doesn't feel good. So I wanted to connect with all the elements. I wanted to do a quick check-in and energy check-in. I'm reading for the collective. I hope you guys don't mind. I do have my puppies here with me. So there might be some distractions every once in a while and I am in a public space. So, um, Maybe there might be someone who shows up or not. Let's bring that now. Actually, okay. Spirit, thank you so much for bringing us here together now. We are so eternally grateful for this moment, and we ask that you speak to us in a way that is clear and let us know what we need to hear the most right now. We thank you again for this moment. We thank you for the clarity that you give us. We thank you for the direction that you give us. We thank you for the messages that lift us up and support us and take us where we rightfully belong. Where do you see us, Spirit? What do we need to hear and receive? What do we need to know right now? guide us. I thank you for anybody who's meant to hear this message, for you bringing it to them at the right time, at the right place. Okay, wow. We have Knight of Swords and we have the Wheel card. Wheel of Fortune. We also have, I forgot that this jumped out, but we have Two of Pentacles. The word that I just heard was, okay, I heard a few words just now. Um, the first word that I heard was um, establishment, and the second one was reform. Something was being reformed, something was being established. Um, spirit is really, I just heard the word second guessing. They don't want you to second guess what is being established. Um, reform means to do differently or to, hold on, let me pick up Franklin because he's going to bark. Come here. Come here, honey. Come on. Nova. Good girl. Reform means to do differently. <laughs> so cute. Um, to switch up how things were once done. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Let's see if we can get refocused again. Two of Pentacles. Speak to us about the Two of Pentacles spirit. Yeah. High Priestess and Nine of Wands. So, this feels like something that you have been intuitively been feeling called to work on that you've been guided to work on. Reforming, reforming. I feel like you're being guided to do things differently. I feel like this is a, a spark, something that you are passionate about. Franklin just caught this one, Queen of Wands. So this is a project, a passion project, something that lights you up. This could be a hobby that you're turning into a business. This could be new adventure, new life. Some of you guys are coming out of a really dark space. You guys are coming out of your cave. You're exploring. You're excited. You're doing this for you. This is not anything that if you're giving it to someone or if it's work that you're that you're contributing to other people or you're helping someone, it's because you genuinely feel called from the, from the depths of your being in order to help. And it gives you a lot of spark, a lot of passion, a lot of de desire. You feel ambitious to do this. You feel a lot of drive. 
there's something that is being worked out here. Um, it's a new idea. Some of you guys are starting in a new a new job, a new venture. You're you're stepping into new territory. Um, Spirit is saying, don't give up on this. You might be doing it. What I'm getting is a, a change from a career, a change from a neighborhood. So you might be moving cross country, or might be move move by buying a new house or doing something totally new on your own terms. I would say sometimes that this could be a relationship, but I do not see relationship here. I see this more as the next calling, the next higher purpose for you. That is something that you're not going to be sharing with, with other people at all. With the Knight of Swords spirit, talk to us about the Knight of Swords. It's this idea, this venture that you're ready to just take off on. Yeah, Six of Wands. Spirit is trying to tell you that this new idea, this new venture, don't give up on it because you will be successful with it. It's not going to be as hard as you think as Spirit is. That's definitely a message that Spirit is coming through. It's not going to be as hard as you think. For some of you guys, I'm definitely seeing some type of fashion de development or working with social media or something like that. Then we have Seven of Pentacles. Um, you're looking at different blueprints is the word that it is that I'm using. Different, um, different tools, different venues, different avenues that you can show up in. Each one is, um, I don't want to say unique, like they're just diff, they each have their own, let's say if you're doing website design, you're looking at all the different options that, um, all the different like platforms of different websites, you're looking at all the different venues, all the different resources that are out there in order for you to create the things that it is that you, this new venture that is that you're taking on. I'm definitely hearing spirit saying there is no right or wrong answer when it comes to you choosing and anything that you choose now, you can later on tweak it. So don't get so caught up in the details, you know, and making the right choice, the right decision. There is no right or wrong. Spirit is really saying that with the seven of pentacles. Um, spirit is more concerned with you taking the action, like doing the steps and now instead of you being so caught up in limbo and the details that you don't make any action that you don't take any action at all okay spirit talk to us about the wheel of fortune with the wheel of fortune the, the word reform keeps coming through and this is again something is being reformed in your life seven of swords i genuinely see this as something that has you've been putting off for a little too long um, I see you guys escaping from, from the monotony of the everyday. So again, this is someone who's maybe in corporate America, kind of venturing out for themselves, doing their own business, starting their own stuff. Maybe you're turning your, this is something that I've been working on. I've been turning my backyard into homesteading, like just totally diving into homesteading. I bought a house for the sole purpose of that, but now, you know, life is changing and making that a little bit more possible for me. So Seven of Swords, I just kind of see you doing it on your terms. Um, and uh, just finagling it, finagling, tweaking it, working it. Seven of Swords, yes, of course, it can be a, a more negative card, meaning that someone could be hiding something from you. But in this case, I just feel like it's you plotting and scheming on what it is that you see for yourself. What is it that you are reforming within your own life, in your own, with this adventure? Spirit, is there any last messages? Um, Okay, I, was, I just heard like you're you're really on the right path and I feel like spirit is going to connect you with the right people and the and these new ideas, these new ventures that are really going to um, emotionally support you. I, I, some of you guys are worried, as, are the finances going to be there? Will I be able to do this? Is Am I going to be financially sound? Am I going to be stable? Is this a realistic plan? Spirit is saying it's absolutely a realistic plan. We didn't give you this thought, this feeling, this idea for no reason. And we want you to really take it seriously and set it into motion. If you're following your instinct, if you're following your intuition and it feels good for you, it is right. At the same time, there is this healthy level of balance that spirit wants you to incorporate in your life that you don't overdo it. Meaning like you don't run yourself out or burn yourself burn yourself out before you get started. So with this balance, it's going to be this healthy level of encouragement that you give yourself and affirmations that you give yourself daily that speak life into you to tell you like, yes, I am doing the right thing. Yes, this is good for me. It doesn't have to be perfect. I, it's not gonna be performance. This is gonna be my authentic path, my authentic growth. A lot of you guys are gonna be doing research or you're gonna be calling on your ancestors to speak life into you because maybe they've done something similar. I can totally identify identify with this my own family has had farms and um homesteading in their own but in their own right but it was more for their own survival right for their own survival but 
and they're very hands-on and able to like build, especially my grandfather. And they were able to use what they had, the resources that they had in order to make a, an amazing home. My, my grandfather built his, the house for his family from scratch with his own hands. So um, it's definitely in my blood. My mother literally made me a meal the other day from the peas from her garden. Um, she made rice and peas, uh, which, you know, that was so good. And it's, it's in my blood. So it's same thing, the reason why I'm sharing this is because there's information and messages that are coming through that your ancestors or those who have come before you, they've mastered these skills, they've, they've mastered it, and they've passed that on to you, it's in your blood. So don't second guess yourself when it comes to your process and when it comes to your passion, because it's definitely coming from somewhere. Spirit threw these cards out, and I, had to, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I had to run after them for a little bit. I'm seeing the Death card, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Lovers. So. It's interesting because I actually do see for some of you guys, there's there will be some level of partnership, um, massive major partnership that's coming in. Spirit doesn't want you to be doing all these projects alone, solo dolo. So they are going to um, have you cross paths with the right people at the right time. And that's gonna be absolutely life changing. For some of you guys that are really concerned about meeting your soulmate, your twin flame, three of wands, and the two of wands and the four of wands are all, all cards that to me signify people coming together on that way, especially this treasure chest. The more that you're pursuing, interestingly enough, the more that you're pursuing this passion project, the more that you're gonna find like-minded souls and spirits who are already doing it um, and who are looking for also help in their own way. So that's gonna come together really effortlessly for you. All right, you guys, I hope this message resonates. I hope that it makes sense. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <coughs>